Why am I so crooked here? Hello. <clears throat> hi, hi, hi. How is everyone? I'm kind of trying to straighten myself out here. <laughs> straighten me out tonight. Yeah. How is everyone doing? I only see one person waiting now. There were two. People come in and leave. Boo hoo. <laughs> Oh, now it's two showing up again. Hello. Come say hi. Hello, hello. That's Paige. Hi, Paige. Everything going okay there? I mean, just say, you know, generic stuff. That you don't want to be kept on live. <laughs> uh. <sighs> I know you had a change in plans today. This is not going to work. Why is this so crooked? I'm sorry. I thought I had this straightened out. And then, I don't know. YouTube's camera seems to be different. I mean, the view seems to be different than when I just do videos. So, weird. Okay. I'll have to make do with it that way. <laughs> uh, I've been playing all afternoon. Um, oh, shoot. I have to close my door because I have the air conditioner, not tightly, but it's quiet right now. And then it'll start rattling like crazy. Okay, I'm glad things are going well. That's good. And, uh, and Callie's up here with me too, so I can't close it tight because she'll want to go out. So it might get kind of noisy here um, partway through the night. Well, there's somebody else on, unless that's me. Um, I don't think so, though. Please say hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. So we're going to be using the Friends Are Like, is it? Oh, it's called Stand and Sea Suite. I keep calling it Friends Are Like Seashell Suite, but that's the bundle name. So the Sand and Sea Suite is what we're using. And... Thankfully, the embossing folder is back in, and this whole suite is available right now. I don't know how long that'll last. There's Melanie. Hi, Melanie and Heather and Nick. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Me. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. So this is what we're going to do. This was my first time pulling anything out and playing with it. I have four cards made, and then I was just playing around doing some stamping. I don't know if we'll get to those or, or not tonight. Because I'm still playing. And I tried to use everything that's in this suite, which is the Friends Are Like Seashells bundle, which has these amazing dies and stamps. Really nice stamp set, by the way. The embossing folder that goes with the dies, and I'll show you how to use that. The opal rounds. The seaside shells, which are actually stickers that look like this. I didn't use too many of them, but we're going to use them on the first card, I think, or the second card. Whoops, where's the other sheet? There's three sheets of those, and they have sort of a pearlized, pearlescent finish on them, too. And then uh, the beautiful designer paper, and last, the pearlescent specialty paper. Now, what's carrying over? Um, the stamps and dies. I can't remember if they're still bundled. They might be. Um, the embossing folder, the opal rounds, and the pearlescent specialty paper. This beautiful paper, designer paper, is not carrying over. And I'm sure that's because Seaside Spray is in it, which already just retired. You are the Waltons. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> exactly. It sounds like it sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't forget, thumbs up, ladies. I hate to ask, but it helps me get recognized, I guess, on YouTube. So the more people do that, the better. So let me put this aside. And I'm just going to take a few minutes to remind you that this is the best time to place a nice big order from the beautiful annual and the January to June mini. Get everything you want because if you place an order 250 or more, you'll get an extra, extra $25 in stampin' rewards 
over and above the normal percentages. So for a $250 order, you'll actually get $50 in Stampin' Rewards. That is really good. Um, so anything under that, you just get the 10% like always, which is still nice too. Uh, or you can host a party only through the 14th of June. I'd have to close it out by the 14th of June. And if you have a party of that amount, the host would get the rewards. So that's another option. If you're interested, you can message me down below or email me at Dahlia Designs. I prefer designs 57 at gmail.com. Now, another option is join my little team, which is part of a much bigger team. And if you do that by the 31st of May, you will get a starter kit that you can put all these yummies in for just 99 US dollars and you can get $155 instead of the normal 125 worth of products. Plus you'll get a free paper pumpkin kit, business supplies and free shipping. Limited time, only through the 31st of May. One of you took advantage of that, so thank you very much. And the last thing, okay, Melanie, thank you. Um, the last thing is the paper pumpkin kit. The next one is going to coordinate with the expressions in ink suite of products in the new annual. Looks like it's going to be gorgeous. $22 a month plus tax here in the U.S. You do have to sign up to get it by the 10th of June. So don't miss out. And I'm just going to mention one other thing. Um, in June, by the end of June, I think, we demonstrators have to finalize our mailing selector for the next mini catalog. Um, yeah, it's coming up real fast. And that's actually a month later than they were going to do. So I will send out a mini catalog this time only to those who have placed a $25 or more order with me before shipping and tax since March, March, April, May. Okay, it has to be March, April, May. Um, so if you haven't placed a $25 or more order with me in March or April, you only have through May to get your name in there to get a free mini catalog, which we normally call the holiday catalog. Okay, so I sent out a lot of annual catalogs and so far, I'm not going that great. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all about that. So here's the first card. It's a pretty simple one. Um, I'm, I was starting off with the concept of I have to use up some of this designer paper. So this paper, let's see if I can find it here. And this is the, um, the designer paper Sand and Sea, it's called. And this is, I did the same thing I did before. I pulled out one sheet. And I was going to use this side. Well, I did. And I used it in the center here. But the other side of that is these dots. And why does that seem so dark there? Yeah, the dyes are amazing. Um, so anyway, oh, these dyes, the diorama. Yeah, I, I just have been wanting to use those. <laughs> so... Um, we're going to do them slightly different, though. Let me show those to you. These are the diorama dies. They don't go with any suite or bundle or whatever. They're just separate. They're item code. They're in the new annual. The item code is 155565. And I use the two, I'll call them the two middle ones. And if you notice, um, they have some like close together to each other because you can cut out a border with these two. So I didn't do that on this one. I just cut the larger one in, in Misty Moonlight and then because Seaside Spray is retired and then this one is the back of this designer paper. But on the one we're going to make, I actually cut out two borders and then I cut one whole big one 
because I want it to appear as though this piece, which is the, the smaller one, is kind of lower in than this. And I did not do that on that one. So I don't know why, I just felt like experimenting and that's what I decided to do. So I've already glued these two borders together. We have to glue them onto here, but we're not gonna do that till after we stamp. They are, they're gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Then, um, in fact, let's just go ahead and do that. We're gonna stamp friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. And we're gonna use Misty Moonlight, which shows up nicely on this, I think. Now, and then I'll tell you a little, a little secret. <laughs> doesn't really matter where you put it unless you you know you want your placement of other things in a specific spot I'll work around that um, that's really well I'm gonna leave misty moonlight out no nah, no nah. okay so here's what I did for the for, these are the stickers uh, I'm not gonna put the twine on because I don't like how that turned out these um, let me show you what I did. I kind of messed up <laughs> and that became cut apart. And this is my second kind of mess up. Um, so we're going to pick a different seashell. So what I, I'm going to show you how to do this actually. Let me get a piece of paper. Let me show you how to use these dies and stuff. Okay. But this is, we'll probably just cut this one apart. This has been um die cut then um, stamped and then embossed okay so let's go ahead and just do that so the first thing we need is the dies and i have to figure out what i do with them here they are so we're going to be using this big die right here so that's the order if you want color and texture now ideally you're going to see this does not fit all the way on here this is a five and a quarter by four. So you really need a five and a half by four and a quarter, but I'm gonna be cutting it apart anyway because I just want some seashells. So I'm gonna run this through the die cut machine. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do that. Excuse me, Callie. Sorry, I'm not gonna bring the machine up to the desk. I apologize. Okay. And so, my messy plate. They pop out pretty nicely, right? And you just have a nice flat piece of white. You could do this on any background paper that you want. I mean, you could use very vanilla. You could use a, a light color if you wanted and stamp you know, either tone on tone or something. I haven't tried that yet, but I intend to. <laughs> all right. So, let me make sure I have all the bits out. Okay. Oops. Okay. So now we need the stamps. Let's put that back over here. I have every, just about every stamp out. So let me find the right one. We'll do the big one first. Any preference on what color you want the big one to be? What did I do the last time? Let's see. This is one I figured we could cut apart because this one, we wouldn't use that because I kind of messed that up and this one's off a little bit. But these two are okay, so we can cut them. Plus, I want this greenery, and I'm going to color that with you. But I just want to show you what to do here. So um, let's use Misty Moonlight on the big one. She might be away from keyboard, Heather. <laughs> Watching, but away from keyboard because... um. 
she's watching a different way. I'm actually going to stamp it off because I'd like it to be a little bit lighter than before. And I'm just trying to see the shape of the shell, which is pretty easy to do, except that I'm way down. Did you hear the air conditioner when it was rattling just now? It's a little bit off. I need practice on <laughs> stamping on stuff. All right. Um, well, no, that one's blue. Yeah, let's let's do that in the blue for the top. Let's just use blue. Okay, here it is. But I'm going to stamp off and make it a lighter blue. Hopefully, I'll line it up right. Oh my gosh, between the air conditioner and my cat is right behind me and she is wheezing, snoring, wheezing. <laughs> no? Okay, good. That's pretty, pretty close. Not, not exact again. All right. Um, and I'm just going to go for all blue on this one and then we'll use the other one to cut apart. I had to find the stamps. This is the one that goes down here. And this has a little bump in the middle there that I'm gonna try and get into. I actually can't see real good because the glare for me seems immense. I think I got that too. Yeah, that one's off too. See, I'm having an off night. <laughs> I am having an off night. Now, I think there's a smaller one. Here it is. I'll make the smaller one darker. And one more. This one. Okay, that's the best one. Yay! Fifth time's a charm. <laughs> uh, you've had a hard time lining it up. I, it's not, I mean, I get some of them some of the time. I did one really good, and all the rest of them I had at least one or two not lined up real good. But it's not the stamp, it's me, I'm sure. I'm just cleaning my stamps real quick. Um, so now we're just going to cut a few of, actually we're going to color the greenery. Um, if you wanted to color in those with a different color, we do have these blobby things. Since that's a little off, let's just experiment with that in a sec here. Okay. And let's say I wanted to put in Sahara sand and make it a two-tone shell. Oops. This, there's this long blobby thing and I'm going to stamp off. Let's try it and see how it works. Which way does it go? This way. Yeah, I don't like that, but, but <laughs> I'm glad I did it on one that was off. It's too dark for it, but you get the idea. You can, you can color it the same color, different color, whatever you would like to do. I did find a use for them, though, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to get my finger dauber, and I'm going to get mint macaron. I'm going to bring in the other one that we're going to cut apart, because this one's kind of a mess. <laughs> this one's better, and I think we're going to use these, these shells on this one. But I want this greenery stuff, and I'm just using one of the finger daubers, and daub in this a different color so I don't have to die cut it again oh and I forgot to tell you though once you stamp those I forgot to tell you that part ay, ay, ay. then you get out your embossing folder and butchering this and um, you want the stampin up label part on the front 
and I just lined it up on here. It's pretty easy to line up. She says, there we go. You can put a piece of tape down if you want, then you run it through. And then I don't know if you can tell, but these all have, you can see it more from the other side maybe. They all have texture, they're bumped up texture. It's really pretty cool. The only thing it doesn't do is cut the seashells individually. So if you want them individually like I did here, you have to use some snips. I'm not going to bother with all of this greenery because I just really want this part at the top here. And maybe we'll use this part for some other, some other bit. Anyway, so that's how you do it. You, you uh, die cut first, then stamp, then run it through the embossing folder. And that, if you can stamp better than me, then you should get a nice picture. <laughs> Nice picture. All right, let's get some snips out and cut a couple seashells out and make this card. Get rid of that and that. All right, I want this brown shell this time, so we're gonna just snip. Pretty easy to fussy cut. And I'm gonna leave the greenery attached up here. I'm just cutting it away from the seashells. And actually, I might leave it attached to that little seashell, but it's going to go under uh, under here. And that'll give me something more to glue it on. That's all I'm going to do there. And then let's cut this one off. We're going to use these two shells, I think, this time instead. And then we have the stickers for the other ones. So have you all been? I shouldn't e shouldn't even have started without asking that before you know as more people came in. <laughs> Did you get your new stamp set, um, Heather? Because you said you have a problem with one. I haven't had a problem with any of mine stamping bad, so that's just I can just have to line them up better. Yeah. I think we'll just now this piece is also okay but I'll, I'll save that for later okay so all right let's um is there any other stamping i have to do oh now another thing what i did here after this was embossed the first time is i did take that um blobby thing no i think i took the die the actual regular stamp. On this one, I embossed first and then I took the stamp and that's how I got those dark, dark spots. And then I just took the um, finger dauber and added a little more background color. Um, we're not going to do that on this one. All right, I'm going to glue this down and I'm going to use contraband glue. Oh, good. That's good. I guess sometimes every now and then you get a bad a bad one. The machines probably mess up or something. I don't know. But one good thing about Stampin' Up is they have great customer service. And I will tell them that and tell you guys that. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I I had to clear a path so we could put the air conditioner in the window today. That was pretty pathetic. Um, and I made up my mind that um, this weekend, once I get through this week, this weekend, I think I'm going to uh, do some D stashes, but I think I'm going to do them on eBay. I have an eBay account and I never use it. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Instead of having retired Stampin' Up! stuff on YouTube, I think I'm going to do it on eBay. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'll let you all know if and when I do. It means I have to take pictures. Plus, I need to get um, 
I really need to get my um, jewelry shop caught up. I'm just going to put some seal down and put this on here like this on the back. I think I need my silicone mat. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to put twine on here this time. And let's figure out where we want everything. I think. Hmm. I think, I think, I think. I know you do, Nix. Um, but I'm not going to do them like I did the last time with the big boxes. I think I'm just going to put sets out, but I'm going to do it on eBay. Um, I think. I haven't fully decided yet. I think I want this turned the other way. All right. So we're going to do like that. And I'm actually going to use glue dots to put those down. I don't know. Maybe I should put one over here. And one right there. You know what? Let me get the card base together first. And where did I put my card base? <laughs> I lost it. Okay. Um, here it is. I got buried with the stamp set. All right. So this is just five and a quarter by four. And, um, and I, I'm also going to tell you about the D stashes. I'm not selling all of it because there are some sets I'll be holding on to. I just haven't decided which ones yet. <laughs> There's a couple holiday sets I'll be holding on to and a couple um, non-holiday that I know I want. Okay, so I guess the first thing I'll do is we're going to bump this up on dimensionals. We don't really have to, but I want to. Hopefully we have enough dimensionals here. I'll post in my Facebook group and I'll probably, um, I don't think I'll do a separate post about it here on YouTube, but I will let you guys know in a live or something when the stuff is out there. I'm trying to separate it from the current because if I don't get current sales, I don't know how long I'll do this, <laughs> quite honestly. So, and that's another reason I'm going to keep some of the old stuff because I still want to stamp, even if I don't do this for real long. Not saying I am quitting. Uh, it's just got to get better. Or I may have to. All right. I'm um, sorry. I didn't want to be Debbie Downer tonight. Okay. Too much Debbie Downer. So we're going to need a bit dimensional on the back of this too. I'm almost out of dimensionals. But I think I'm going to use just a mini. And I'm just right up here at the top. And the rest of this will be glue. My glue is hot. It apparently wants to just ooze out. All right. So we're going to put this up here. And then this one, same thing. We're going to use a mini dimensional right up at the top. And I'm using the side of my glue because it ran down the tip. <laughs> ran down the tip. I didn't take the paper off, did I? Yes, I did. Okay. It's hard. It's really hard to... Um, get, and I don't like to complain on my lives because I, I truly want to thank all my customers that have helped me and some that helped me even though they had other demonstrators in the beginning <laughs> and I appreciate you so much but um, I don't know I try and be good and say if you order I'll send out catalogs and stuff but that gets you know expensive too so 
that's why I have I'm only going to send catalogs out to people that place orders and twenty five dollars or more. Okay, we're going to put these are the stickers, and these are retiring, um, even though the stamp set. I'm going to put this one on all the way over here. All right, that's enough of that. I don't want to lose people because I'm being negative. I didn't start out that way. <laughs> All right. Now, I think I like it with the big one on there better, but oh well. Um, let me get my glue, which is like, it's like a volcano here. Look, <laughs> it's running down the tip. I need a paper towel. Hang on. Okay, get that out of the way because I should use my Stampin' Up glue anyway. Okay, now we're going to put opal pieces on. And I have my scissors here, so I'll just use them. Opal rounds, I think they're called. They're really pretty. They're really pretty. Two big ones and a littler one. And then we are going to stamp something on the inside as well. I guess you could put more um, down here too if you wanted to. All right, hang on. Need room. So what I did on the inside then is put, I am so happy I found you. And that goes on white cardstock which this is Whisper White. Um, I just have to find the stamp. Had it all organized and then I messed it up. <laughs> nope, that's a different one. Here it is. Okay. Um, so this is going to be in Misty Moonlight also. Sorry for reaching. Well, yeah, because you want to, you just, you want to show them, um, show potential customers and customers all the products, but, you know, even though we get a discount, <laughs> it costs money to do that. There's ways to do it. My problem is I just like it all too much and then I want to get it all. So, and of course that's crooked. Of course it is. I even tried to line it up here. I'm going to go down a little bit. I'm trying to use my grid thing to make it be straight. Oh boy. I think I need my eyes examined. <laughs> Maybe my head, too. I don't know. My head and my eyes. All right, I'm going with that one. And then I think I stamped something else. No, I just put another sticker in here. A pink one. Could be any. You could do three if you wanted to. But we'll just lay that right down there. And glue it in. But I love, I love the products. I love the products. And I'm going to do my darndest to not give up on it yet. Because I've, I've had some really good months. But lately, mm -mm. So, anyway. Alrighty. Card number one. I like it better without this. I thought it would stick out more and I got it tucked under too far and yeah, anyway, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> All right. So this is a scrap piece of white paper now. All right. So that's card one. You like this one better with the, yeah, I like, it sort of makes the water look in, in 
I don't know, in the pool more. This is the back of this designer paper, so I thought that was pretty cool. And the water's going more sideways instead of up and down. <laughs> All right, so let me figure out. I'll just put that right here. The next one's more like some in the catalog. I'm going to have to do better because, look, it's stamped. Yeeks. So good I had a practice, right? Uh, um, you had that black and white paper too, Heather. Is that all gone? I know that's retiring too, but you know. Okay. Anyway, let me show you what this is. This is on very vanilla card base A2. And this actually is one of the designer papers that looks like sand and it's in Sahara sand. This is the other side. Now the dies do not cut these out, but honestly, you could fussy cut these pretty easily. And I thought about doing that, but I didn't for tonight. So that is just going to get glued down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I didn't use the, the pretty side of the paper with the all different colors. Well, I think on the fourth card I, I did use some, but it's not the seashell one. I'm going to do it this way where the, the darker sand is down at the bottom. I don't know why. I just am. Um, this is actually five and three eighths by four and one eighths because this is so. Um, so you're going to see me do this. I didn't have to do it for you. All right. The colors we're going to use. I need to scrap again. Are. We're going to do them in, hopefully in this color. Misty Moonlight. Uh, Flirty Flamingo. This is Mint Macaron. Sahara Sand. And So Saffron. And we'll do the blue one first just because I have the ink on top. Hi, Melanie. That was quick. We're on card two. This was the first card, and this is the one we did. This is the one we did. And there's the inside. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. I'm so glad I found you. I'm so glad I found you. <laughs> or you found me. Or whatever. All right. So let's see if I can do better this time. Because I only have one of these die cut. So if I totally mess it up, we're in trouble. I'm going to stand up. Hopefully not run over my cat back here. So um, um, I die cut this on very vanilla. Sorry, I had to move the lamp out of the way. I'm going down. I hope it's okay. I did use the ice cream bundle not long ago. Um, rem if you're here at the end, remind me and I'll show you. Well, I have a secret, Heather. I haven't done mine yet. <laughs> they will. I have picked out what I'm going to do, though. So that's a, that's a start in the right direction. Okay, now I'm going to bring in, look, I did it really good that time. I think it helps if I stand up, she says, and hopefully it'll stay that way. Here's Flirty Flamingo for the big one. You could use Calypso Coral would be pretty or Blushing Bride. Did I stamp off? No, I don't think I did because I kind of want bright colors on this cause since it's a not so bright background. All right, I think I got it. I think. And it could have been that way a little more, but I'm going with it. All right, now let's see. We'll do the little so saffron one next because that's my closest ink pad. I can find 
like that. Um, let me make sure that's the right stamp. I think so. I'm really having trouble seeing the edges. Oof, sorry. I just bummed you. That one's off. That one is off. <sighs> Yikes. And then mint macaron for here. I really have trouble seeing. That one's a little off too. Yeah. I did the first two pretty good. Okay, one more. Where is it? Here it is. And that one I use Sahara Sand. You had chicken burgers. I had leftover beef roast from yesterday and a yogurt. <laughs> That's what I had. I made it in the crock pot. And I think I got that off a little bit too. Nope, that one's pretty good. Okay. We're going with it. Even though some of them are off. Let me put some of these ink pads away. Because I'm kind of, well, kind of getting buried. Okay. So now we need the embossing folder. You're working in the morning. Ah. Cool. Can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. I like that Fab Four collab. I really do. It's one of my favorites, which is why I'm surprised I don't have it up already. Okay, so I'm lining this up on the bottom part. We're making the Stampin' Up! be the top. If you wanted your shells to be indented, then you do it the other way around. But I like them pop like bumped up. Yeah, I just, I just moved it. And you can use tape, but as long as I hold it still, it should be okay. All right. I'm going to use plate one and plate four in the big machine. Maybe. There we go. That's all right, Kathy. I know you're there. Why don't you go sit on your chair, huh? <laughs> Talking to my cat. And now we just have some texture on our stamped crooked items. So, cool. Very cool. And that's just going to go on there, and we're actually going to bump it up. And I might have to snip some of these off because I'm getting low. Oh, I think I have one shy. You know what? I'll just use two little minis on here. <laughs> and maybe maybe another mini or two. It's probably enough. All right. You like it too, next? Do you want to join? You don't have to be a demonstrator to join. You just have to use... Um, uh, dies, punches, embossing folders, or stencils, masks. Heroes for you. Costco meat, nothing in town. Wow. I don't, I think I had one of those once and it was on a business trip years ago. And then one time my mother went with my cousin to 
there and she had what she kept calling guy rose i'm like no mom that's not how you say it <laughs> she's like i don't care they were awful i'm never eating them again they didn't make them with the right meat and she hated it but anyway that's just her i liked what i had all right i'm using sahara sand to stamp and i'm gonna make a birthday one Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. There we go. And I just got my ink and my finger in the ink. And then because that really doesn't like pop against here and I didn't want to add anything else. I'm taking my flirty flamingo Stampin' Right marker and just going around the edge. You could use any other colors that are in the card. Just kind of put it at an angle and go around the edge to make it show up a little better. Should do it from the front. There we go. Okay. Just really need, I don't think I got this side good. We just want it to pop against the background a little bit. And now I do need to cut some dimensionals. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Didn't we used to have one? You know, sometimes I don't understand the decisions that are made as far as things that retire because it's like, well, we still have those colors. Why can't we keep those ribbons or whatever? Anyway, you can take a uh, Calypso Coral um, Stampin' Write Your Blend and you can color the white seam binding ribbon with it or any white ribbon really so that's an option for you for calypso coral ribbon i'm actually going to use the misty moonlight twine from the flowers for every season that carried over to the annual it's in a trio pack that has a white and the just jade um gingham and also what else does it have in it uh, oh and this <laughs> all right let me hold this up a little bit to make sure i get it sort of straight and i'm trying not to cover the seashells and then i'm just going to get a glue dot and put this on and put some gems on again some opals we like opals you like opals in jewelry too. That tail is bigger than the other one. Okay. And I'm just going to put it actually a little bit off center over here. And let me bring the opals back. Now, I'm not going to put the opals up on here because I don't want to add more bulk to this. So we'll just put a couple around and make it glisten and glow. And I think I'll put a little or one right in. Oh, that's going to be too. too. Yeah. 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 I'll put it here. Nope. Here. Right here. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Now, let's see, did I do anything on the inside? Okay, on the inside, all I did was add another piece of the designer paper. Do I have that ready? I do, but I stamped on it first. Um, I stamped starfish and a sand dollar. Um, starfish, and I just did tone on tone. Thank you, Melanie. I think I'm going to put the starfish in the upper corner this time. I really like this back, this uh, sand looking paper because it um, 
it actually looks like how that we you know when the tide comes goes out and the sand sort of looks like it's moving too it is moving really <laughs> um that's what it looks like to me it's really pretty cool I think I cleaned that already, but yeah. Okay, now let me glue that in, and then that'll be the second card. Which one? This one. This one. Come here. And again, this is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And. I figure it's light enough to write on. We don't need to put anything on top of it. And that is that. So we have that card and this one so far. Okay, so the next one is a little more formal looking. I brought in that pearlescent paper and I did not die cut it I just ran it through the embossing floor and that piece is four and a quarter by four I put it on gold foil which we still carry and um, which I'm low on actually and crumb cake as a card base and then I heat embossed love you to the beach and back I'm not thinking I don't I, I'm thinking I don't like how I did this um, cord and that cord is from the elegant, the elegant, simply elegant trims from the elegant suite in the new annual. Let's get that out a while. Actually, I have a P. I don't know if I want to do a bow or um, I'm not sure. Now, to save us some time, I do have to do the embossing. I already did the heat embossing because, as I mentioned, my cord situation is bad so i've already done that now this is the largest circle in the tasteful label dies this one here um so it's got the stitching around and i just use versamark to stamp it and gold embossing powder this is the beautiful pearlescent paper shimmery pearlescent gorgeous and also, by the way, I did an experiment. I don't know what I did with it, but I tried um, die cutting this and stamping on it. And it, it doesn't work with the regular die inks. They smear too easily, even if you're really careful. You don't have the shimmer paper. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. And I love it embossed with this embossing folder. So we're going to do the same thing we did, but we're just not going to die. We're just not going to die cut it. So this is a really easy card. And let's see, I'm going to put it more towards the bottom a little bit to make sure I get that big shell in there and that it's straight. And then same thing, you can kind of see where it is. Um, make sure your Stampin' Up! is on the top for this one. Plate one and plate four again. Through this big, the big, the big boss machine. <laughs> the Stampin' Cut and Emboss, whatever it's called. You do have to use the big machine for this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that. Now, so that is five and a quarter by four. So this shiny gold, and I didn't even cut anything out of the middle, is five and three eighths by four and one eighths. Okay, now I don't know. Let me just get that scrap of this twine. I might, instead of doing this little loopy thing, I might take a longer piece and do that wrap it around three times. Uh, I'm going to glue uh, get this glued down. I'm going to use seal to put it down since it's going on foil. And uh, we'll try that and see if I like it or not. I don't like ribbon across. I tried that. 
because it covers up too much of the shells. And I want the shells to show. Okay. Ugh. I always get that stuck to my fingers. So let's see if we can get this on sort of straight. I did it I did it now I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in the middle back here and get my silicone mat just in case and I'm gonna try and do that wrap it around you know maybe maybe I should have used seal plus Ugh, it's not gonna stick stick sticking to me but it's not sticking to the paper or to the cord I mean yeah, it's sticking to me <sighs> and my air conditioner is really good. all right never mind I have to do a glue dot or something back here because it is not wanting to stick try that again there we go And we could do this. I'll still put this up here. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should do that. Do you like that? Well, yeah, I did. I did stamp on it, but the ink um i don't know it looked smudgy to me even though it wasn't smeared and uh, i just didn't like the way it looked this this shimmer paper is it's in the annual also all right do you guys like that or do you like just having it up in the corner better i kind of like it in the middle here better i think i'm going to go with it like that or I could go like, no, I like it better with this on here. All right, I'm going with this. We'll do a little, something a little different here. See, don't speak up soon enough. I make a decision. <laughs> uh, middle, yeah, middle, me too. I just hate covering up the seashells, but oh well. All right, so let me bring in my crumb cake and get this down first. Actually, maybe you need to make sure that's tight enough. There. All right. Standing up again. So I have this loud air conditioner in the window now. And usually it, the air comes right in on me, but I closed the door part way so it wouldn't be so loud. But it's getting hot in here again. <laughs> Hi, honeybees. Middle. Thank you. All right. I'm going to get a more dimensionals cut. Because um, I don't know if I have another pack open, actually. That's not good. If I don't. I do have another pack though. Two open. And you know what? Where's the little ones? Just put a little one in the middle. Oop. <laughs> Actually, maybe I shouldn't have put a little one in the middle. It's going to be right on that cord. Mm. <sighs> okay. I'll put it right above the cord. All right, and you know what? We'll just fill some of this vacant space with the Gilded Gems, which carried over. We'll just put them in different spots this time. Where do I want it? I don't know. 
maybe there, and then a little one. Actually, we can put the little one right on here. There we go. Okay. And get rid of my trash. <laughs> and then on the inside, I just left it blank. Um, I thought about stamping in there, but I didn't know what I wanted to put. Since it's a love card, and I don't know. <laughs> so we're just, this is very vanilla. It's not white. Because I thought that went with the shimmer paper better. So this is a really easy card, really just embossing and heat embossing and putting it all together, and that's it. So that's card number something, three. We're almost done. Woohoo. Okay. Okay. So the other cards, if you missed them, were these. I know I show them every time, right? One, two, and three so far. We have our friends, a happy birthday, and a loved one. And the last card is a little different. And it's this. Now, I really needed to use more paper. So I picked out this one, even though it has Seaside Spray in it that retired. Um, wait. I got my headphones on. I can't hear. Okay, good. Thank you. In my name or in Tashana's? Tashana's, I think. She has it spelled out on her um, description box of her videos. All right. So this one is a blushing bride card base with... Sahara Sand 5 and a quarter by 4 with this designer series paper. I don't know if these this is sea urchins or if this is jellyfish. I really despise jellyfish. But I think it's actually sea urchins that kind of blow up in this. Because I don't see the little tentacly things from jellyfish. And the other side is this pretty blue. So anyway, this is five by three and three quarter, pretty standard. This piece is two inches by three and three quarter, and that's going to go right here. But the fun part of this card is I use the brand new, um, what is it called? Ombre specialty paper, and I used it in Night of Navy. And Mango Melody, actually, is that right? Maybe I used Poppy Parade. I guess I used Poppy Parade. Let me check something. I know I didn't use Gorgeous Grape. <laughs> and, hang on. No, I used Poppy Parade. There, there's also a yellow Mango Melody. I was going to use that, but there's no yellow in that paper. Um, and you see it's ombre, right? So I thought if I use the, you know, do the die cut and then emboss, which is what I did, I, I used, um, I cut it so that the light part was at the top on both of these sheets. And then I just started cutting apart. So on this one, I have the light part of the blue, which sort of looks like the seaside spray. But I did bring in a darker shell and a little bit of a darker shell here. I don't know if you can see the embossing. And you get shimmer. So pretty. So it does, it's not an exact match, but it works. So now I have to pick out other ones and decide. Um, this is a little bit too big for, because actually the first thing we're going to do is stamp. Friends are like seashells. Maybe we'll just do the opposite. We'll use this blue one and the same shell, but in the, the lighter color on here, which looks like sort of a, a pale, peachy, corally color from the Poppy Parade. 
which is not one of the colors in the paper, but I think it works. These sheets are in the annual catalog. And I guess since I use this blue, I either, I guess we'll use this here. So let me cut that a while. Two. There we go. Just turn that up a bit. And that's going to tuck under here. And then we'll have this light color and we need the dark blue. Yeah, that would be pretty. Use colored cardstock and heat emboss in white. That would be pretty. What color uh, cardstock would you use? Are you talking about on this glimmer paper? I don't know if I would do that, but. I would definitely use um, colored cardstock to do that with. Uh, yeah, there's. I was thinking there's so much more I want to do with this set, but um, and like I said, it is carrying over. The bundle is carrying over, but I don't know if it's. I mean, the stamp and the dies are carrying over. I can't remember if the bundle is. I'd have to check. So if you want 10% savings, bundle pricing, get it before the 30th of June. Okay. So this is going to, we'll do it the same way. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp. Um, so now I still have these big shells I can do something with and that. So pretty cool, versatile ombre paper. I like the ombre stuff. Um, so let's stamp now. And we need Misty Moonlight. Here it is. Or we could stamp in... Nah, I'm going to use Misty Moonlight again. And this is the Friends Are Like Seashells one again. There are other sentiments in here, but... Um, like the birthday one, but I thought the Friends one looked better as soon as I find it. Ah, I buried it. I buried it. Yikes. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it? Here it is. Okay. All right. Now, because I'm doing this on designer paper, I only get one shot. <laughs> she says. The bundle price carries over. Yay. That's a good thing. I wish the paper would too, but. Putting this in the bottom left corner of this designer paper, which has that on that on the back. So it's just using the same paper, flipped over. And let's assemble this part. So these these cards are not outrageously hard tonight at all. And then I started playing around with, uh, again, this is Sahara Sand, cut five and a quarter by four, and the designer paper is five by three and three quarter. And we're going to glue this down also. I didn't have the, uh, the seagrass or whatever it's called underneath this. I had it on top under the shelves. We'll glue this onto the card base, which is Blushing Bride. I almost used Blushing Bride with Flirty Flamingo, but it it just, I wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling it. Page 27. Thank you. Very nice of you to look that up. Okay. Wait. Okay, thanks for the spelling also. All right, so we're going to glue this down and then we'll put our seashells on like this and they'll be up on dimensionals. And I'm going to carefully dot the glue. Maybe if it'll cooperate with me. All 
right, dimensionals again. And a mini down here on the tippy tip. The tippy tip. Thank you for being here with me to, this evening. I do appreciate it. I hope your weather's okay everywhere. We are like in summer already. <laughs> it's crazy. In the mid to, to high 80s this week and in the next week. Like what happened to spring? We were supposed to have spring first. I think we had about three days of spring. All right, now this one, I'm going to put a dimensional here, but um, I'll just do with them. Here they are. But then I'm going to put glue on the top because it's going to go on to here. You know, you know how we do, right? You know how we do like that and then we need the opals you could also put oops, some stickers on here but I don't want to um, I'll just use my scissors and I put one right in the middle of a sea urchin or whatever it is all right we'll put it on this one this time and then we'll just put a little one, maybe in this one. There we go. Pretty. And then on the inside of this one, all I did was a piece of the designer paper on a five and a quarter by four white sheet. Get this out of the way. And I had to remember to show Melanie ice cream cards. I had made some birthday cards with the ice cream. I think I did that for a collab. I know I did it for a collab. I'm trying to remember which collab I did it for. Uh, I was kind of waiting to do this suite because the embossing folder was on back order for so long, but it's in the suite is available unless it went out again during the day today, but it was in around my lunchtime today. Oh, thanks, Heather. Thank you, honeybees. We love to have you too. Okay, so there's card four. And I want to show you a couple other things I was working on but didn't didn't do yet. Um, so cards one, two. This sort of looks be beachy, beachy to me, right? And then I was just having a play, um, but I don't really like what I did. So I didn't do anything with them and making backgrounds. But basically, just take your stamps and make some backgrounds. I kind of like this one. I don't know if I like that one or not. And these splotchy things I didn't use tonight, but I actually did use them on this, I think. Pretty sure. And that was the one I did before coming on. So, yeah, have a play. It would turn out better if I took the time to cut some of these out and mask them. Then I could go over them better, but I didn't have time to do that. Hang on a second. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Melanie wanted to see ice cream cards. So let me find those. Because um, they weren't very long ago. I know they're here somewhere. Hang on. Um, 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 I did the tie-dye things. The peony. The hydrangeas. Oh, here they are. I found them. All right. This, oh, I know what it was. It was case a card. And these are the cards we made. 
the diorama yeah this was the one i did before coming on and then this one we did a just slightly different because i cut this border out twice so that the this part sort of recessed in a little bit where this one's right on top yeah i thought that was cute too and this is just the designer paper and that's the back of this designer paper i have a ton of that designer paper left so i don't know if melanie's still here um but if you are melanie here's some ice cream cards and these were cased case the card i thought i had a i thought i had another a third i did i had a third one hang on there's a pink one too here it is yeah and these used this one used the new designer in color paper this one used a piece out of the I want to say peony paper and this was out of the ice cream paper in Bermuda Bay and this was um, pale papaya and this is fresh freesia aren't they cute these also use the opals this one did and I colored them for three of those dots this used the sequins from that artistry something set in the annual that carried over and this did as well in coastal cabana and bermuda bay so i thought those were pretty anyway i don't believe she's here again but um those were the ice cream cards all right guys i guess i'm done wow i finished in an hour and 18 minutes <laughs> so don't forget it is the best time to a join so please join under me and um you can add your pre well no you can't you can order anything up to 155 dollars worth of materials for 99 dollars and free shipping and you'll get a free paper pumpkin kit i don't know which one so let me know if you're interested in more information but that's only good through the 31st of may which is coming up pretty darn quick or host a party through the 14th of June, which means you'd have to start the party soon because I have to close it out no later than the 14th of June in order for the hostess to get the host or hostess to get the rewards extra $25 for any $250 party or more um, in hostess in uh, Stampin' Rewards. So you get your normal percentage that you would get of your amount over here. Uh, or whatever in between and an extra 25 and don't forget to order the next paper pumpkin kit because it's going to be a pretty one i can tell by looking at the box and it's going to coordinate with the expressions and in ink suite and you'll get two classic stampin spots plus the stamp set and i don't know what else will be inside it'll make nine cards and coordinating envelopes Oh, what did I say? Yeah, it was polished pink. You're right. I don't know what I said. <laughs> polished pink, pale papaya, and Bermuda Bay is what I used on those other ones. Yep. You think four is your favorite? This one here with the sparkly um, ombre paper? Yeah. I like that one, too. I like them. I like them all. I like them all. These look more like sand, you know. This one is more guyish a little more elegant i actually like this second the one we did better than the first one i did i like doing that twine that elegant cording the way we did and i guess that's it so i will be saying goodbye yeah i agree melanie did you see the ice cream cards I know you wanted somebody to do ice cream. I just showed them. These were in my case a card video from whenever we do that. The end of the month last month, I believe. <laughs> They're not from tonight. So I did use the ice cream and this is casing a card right out of the catalog. You are now inspired. Yay. <laughs> April. Yeah. The end of April. 
So, all right, guys, I am going to get off of here. Next Wednesday is going to be variety night. I don't know what I'm using yet. I have a whole bunch of things I want to use, but I have to narrow it down. <laughs> and I'm going to try and use some things for out of the mini catalog, plus some things out of the annual. Thank you, Paige. Yay. Yay. And, uh, yeah, I will have something up for Fab Four tomorrow. And then also the um, summer, all summer long collab is tomorrow, which is the 20th. And then I probably am not going to have another video up over the weekend because I need to get some organization and stuff done. You're welcome, Melanie. Thank you, Heather. You too. Thank you so much for joining me. Hugs, love, and peace. Stay safe out there. Thanks, honeybees. Uh, yep, until next time. Bye for now. Thank you for joining me.